is a real life science teacher from Massachusetts who loves explosions just as much as I do. He's an author too. The first book in his series for kids is Nick and Tesla's High Voltage Danger Lab. Please welcome my good friend, Science Bob Fubelde! What was Jimmy thinking? Wow, what was Jimmy thinking? Leaving this place to the nerds. Uh, All right, Bob, so this is actually a pretty cool book. Yeah, I, yeah. I read some of it, and it's like the kids come up with the contraptions, but then you show them how to actually build them, the recipe. Yeah, yeah, right. if your kids are a fan of what Mark and I do, uh, this is definitely in their alley and, uh, and worth checking out, I think. All right, speaking All right. of in our alley, what the heck do we have here? We had some, like, Hollywood explosions earlier in okay. the show. I figured let's do some real explosions. Okay. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I, by the way, Bob, I just want to say... Yeah. Jimmy's not here, so you can yeah. use the big words today. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. I know science. Nice. So. nice. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So what we have here is uh, an actual uh, ostrich egg. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this uh, with uh, the world's most uh, dangerous beach ball. This is not filled with air. This is filled with hydrogen. Ooh. Yeah. Now you've got uh, a, an amazing rover on Mars. That went up on the uh, Atlas V rocket, I believe. Yep. And what does those use for fuel? I think it's hydrogen and oxygen. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to have you carefully hold that egg. There's a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top. Okay. I'm going to put this nozzle here. Yep. And what we're going to do is we're going to purge the air okay. out of this. So we're going to fill the whole thing entirely with hydrogen. Okay. So that is half of our rocket fuel. Wow, and you're having me hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Once it is uh, entirely purged of the air, yeah. then I'm going to ignite it in our boom box here, okay, like a candle, okay. right? Now again, it's all hydrogen, so it's gonna burn pretty clean. Hydrogen is a pretty clean burning fuel. Okay. All right, let's seal this one up and get that out of the way. We don't want that in It's a clever little fill mechanism, by the way. Thank the you, it works perfectly. Those are the kind of details Jimmy just wouldn't notice, I feel like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> As an engineer. All right, so I'm going to light this. It's going to hopefully burn uh, nice and cleanly. You might not even see the flame. But as it burns, the oxygen is going to come in. That's the oxygen part. And if all goes well, it will turn into rocket fuel, and we'll get to see what happens. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. We light that. Now it's burning. Again, you can barely see it. The oxygen is coming in. Come on over. You want okay, to get okay, a good okay. view here. All right, so now the oxygen is coming yeah. in while the flame burns. Very clean very flame. Zen. Very zen-like, very calm. But we do get to a point where we get two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, and then that. Oh! That happened. Yeah. There's not much left of that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, uh, wow! Well, I did not make that look cool. <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, you guys want more fire? Yeah. We've got to give the people what they want. All right, so there's a classic kind of uh, classroom demonstration where you take one of those five gallon plastic water bottles, uh -huh. pour some ethanol fuel in it, uh -huh. and you throw a match in there and you get this nice whoosh of fire. Yeah. All right, so science is all about variables. That's right. So I've changed the variable up. Instead of that plastic bottle, I'm going to use this long tube. Cool. All right, so this is our ethanol fuel, all right. our biofuel. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pour that in here, and if you get it the other end. Sure. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip this over. Okay. And you have genuinely not seen any of these. I genuinely have not. I, I demanded, I didn't want to see it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm... yeah. So this is gonna be fun. Honest right. reaction. We're gonna dump that. So now we need to uh, use evaporation for this, okay? Okay. Oh, and by the way, Jimmy, evaporation, that's when the liquidy stuff goes to gas stuff. There you go. Okay? I know you're watching at home. All right, there we go. All right, so now we've evaporated. There's some nice vapor in there. I'm gonna have you step up on here. Okay, and just look down the bottom? Yeah, well, not quite. Okay. All right. So you're gonna put that glove on. That's a fire-resistant glove. I'm gonna light this match. I'll lift the top off. You're gonna drop that in there. Like quickly? Uh, yeah, just kind of, yeah, okay. you just drop it in. Okay. And, uh, and we'll see what happens when we uh, evaporate okay. ethanol. Maybe we'll bring the lights down a little bit for this. Okay. All right, here we go. We'll light this first. All right, there it is. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go for go. it. Go. It shot, it shot the thing out, uh, but, uh, and that's good. That's okay, okay. This one looks bigger. That's it. We're just we're just increasing the variable, right? Bigger, better television. This is why we're we friends, Bob. That's right, man. We know how to party. Yeah. All right. Here we go. There you okay. go. Hold on to that. Here we go. All right, that goes on there. 
Here we go. Okay. I'm Three, gonna be faster this two, time. Two, one. Trail going oh, down too. Okay. All right, so Mark, we have bonded over one particular experiment. That's right, elephant toothpaste, right? Elephant's toothpaste. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a good okay. thing. And this was actually the very first experiment I ever did. Uh, I think it was 21 visits ago. Yep. This was the very first experiment we did. And you and I have done this in incredible levels of it. That's so great. let's show the fun people uh, what we've got here. Okay. We have a, a hydrogen peroxide. Yep. We've got a catalyst. We've got some soap and a little bit of food coloring in there. Potassium we iodide. Pour that in. Jimmy would know that. It's a decomposition reaction. And... <laughs> what, is, what is not to love about that? We put in a little extra because Jimmy's <laughs> not here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so that's some beautiful chemistry. Okay. Um, but you had another idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. S sorry, Jimmy. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. So one thing we haven't tried, Bob. Yeah. Is like we've done all sorts of different versions of toothpaste. <laughs> Let's stand right here. Yeah, 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 We've yeah, never yeah. actually done it like inside. No, that's true. And so as an engineer, sometimes you build models. This yeah, just yeah. happens to be randomly a diorama of Jimmy's office. It looks just like it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I mean, like as a science a man of science, like what would happen if you did it like in an office, like well, I, Jimmy's I, I, randomly Jimmy's office? I don't I, know. I would think if you're if you were gonna like hypothetically do this, if you're going you'd to. probably put some hydrogen peroxide okay. there. Then you'd maybe have some mechanism that would dump sure. the peroxide, okay. uh, the catalyst. And what would there. that look like? That would probably look. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Yeah, that would be neat. That would be neat. Yeah, that would huh. be neat. Okay. <laughs> you have any more hydrogen peroxide, Bob? Oh, I got a whole truck of this stuff out there. <laughs> Great. When we come back, Bob and I are gonna take things up a notch. So, do not go anywhere. Ta -da -da.